Okay, so here I got just a real quick video, I guess, of a so Chevy 12 bolt axle here. Um, kind of sandblasted it down, get some of the dirt and grime and rust off of it, but rebuilding it for the Posi unit. But um, I guess it was kind of a common issue. But uh, the so when these things are made, if you're still tubes that are pressed into your cast housing, uh, it's a press fit in. And then there's two plug welds on the front and one on the rear. And those are prone to cracking over time. The weld will crack actually. So um, that can be an issue um, where it'll allow your axle to actually start leaking there. And then if your axle is actually leaking oil, so that was what my problem was. Um, basically the only way to fix that is to, you know, weld up the plug. Uh, you can actually do this yourself, no big deal. So, uh, what they welded the plug weld with, um, I'm not sure what it was, but it was some type of steel versus the cast iron housing here. So, uh, you can use just a grinder and you can see the difference in the, in the two, in the actual, uh, what am I trying to say? The sparks coming from it. So I already ground it down, I guess not a great example, but I'll show you here. There's a difference, so on your actual plug weld, you have the steel versus your cast, so on the plug weld, you see a lot of sparks, the housing, you're going to see almost nothing. Uh, <clears throat> but basically what I'm doing is I'm just using a MIG welder, just with your standard steel uh, wire, and I'm just welding it up. So uh, one thing you have to worry about on cast is if it gets too hot. So if you weld on the cast, you can't get it hot. So if you only do just a small weld at a time, uh, it doesn't get hot so you do a weld and because it is working with cast here I'm still going ahead and I'm hitting it with the uh, with ball peen hammer and peening it so that I don't have any cracking issues so what you're doing is you're actually spreading out the weld um, so that it can expand and it'll cool or the weld cools too fast according faster than the uh, rate of heat of expansion is faster than the cast so you're spreading out the weld so that it'll kind of compensate for that slower um, cooling speed a cooler uh, slower expansion <coughs> so basically uh, this is where I had it well the issue at so I'm gonna kind of I got this circle here I'm gonna go kind of around that and work my way in and just do a small weld here um, like I said, just a little bit at a time so you don't get, actually get it hot. And if you don't get it hot, then you don't have to worry as much about cracking. So you don't have to preheat or postheat. So you can solve the issue with the uh, axle leaking and it'll be a simple kind of a quick fix and you can get back on the road again real quick. Okay, and then one more thing that I should mention real quick. Um, before you weld on this, you should have it completely empty, cleared out. Um, just in case your spark or your source of electricity is running, let's say, through your carrier here. Uh, so what actually can happen is the spark can go from the race to the bearing, and then from the bearing to the carrier, from the bearing, or from the carrier back to the bearing. So when that spark goes from the race to the bearing, it actually will create a bridge, and it'll bridge that gap on your bearing. And you get basically a piece of metal stuck in there where it melts and your bearing will fail very quickly um, if you have that issue I guess so you should take all your bearings out your carrier out your everything out before you be welding on an axle like this um, especially if the spark can go travel through it now you could get away with it if you go from let's say this bracket here to right here you know this is your only travel distance so you could get away with it but because the bearings right here I wouldn't risk it just empty it out and just do it that way
All right, so that's kind of just a step one. That was kind of loud, I guess, but um, I didn't get it perfect. I didn't want to, I guess, in the first hit right away. Um, you do what you can. Um, like I said, you don't want to get this hot, so if you spend too much time on there, you're going to start having your housing crack. Um, so if you can't put your hands this close to it, then you probably got it too hot. So that's something to watch out for. Um, so I'm going to go do this side, go back to this side. And once I can come back, put my hand, rest it on the weld here, it's cool enough, I can go back and weld it again. So you got to kind of just be aware that you don't want to get it hot at all and just do it kind of that way. All right, so here we are. I got my plug welds re-welded. Here's my test. Uh, took some penetrating oil and just sprayed it in that gap right there, both sides. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wait. Um, just let it sit here, I guess, overnight. And I'll know in the morning, I guess, if it's wet there. So, um, I mean, that'll test the front side pretty easily, pretty good, but um, back side, I guess, it wasn't leaking before, for me at least. Um, I could flip it the other way and do the same thing again. Uh, that'd be a pretty good test. I mean, put oil, I guess, where, where it was leaking and see if it leaks. So, um, there's six plug welds on the axle, two on each side on the front and one on the back, and I just welded over all of them, just, that's all I did. I mean, it's not pretty, because I was pounding on it, but, I mean, you probably could get away with not peening it because you're welding onto steel, but uh, just to be safe, I just went ahead and did it. Um, I haven't, I didn't have any cracking, so, um, I feel like doing it the safe way worked out for me, uh, just so I didn't accidentally ruin an axle housing here. Um, definitely don't want that, so I just played it extra safe, and it seems like it's working out so far. So as long as I don't have any leaks, I think it'll, I think I'll call it a success.